Meet Della Romano, a UNC junior who is waiting to ride the bus to an off-campus lot so she can then drive to her internship. I applied for the inter internship on a whim and figured if I got it, then I would figure out the transportation piece for myself. And that piece was buying her first car. I rode with Romano to the resident remote or RR lot. She told me she applied for hardship parking, her last shot at a space on campus, but she was denied. Taking the bus to the RR lot, that would kill about an hour and a half every, every day I had to go to work for me, which is a lot of time when you're taking a full class schedule. Time is what some students like Miley Lim didn't even have to apply. Honestly, I just didn't feel like I had a good chance and plus there's so much paperwork that I had to go into it. I didn't think, I didn't have the time and I just didn't want to go through the entire process and I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Now, there's about 19,000 undergraduate students, but there's only about 4,000 parking spots on campus. That means less than one in every four students will receive a spot. I don't believe that it's injustice. I just believe that there, there could be a better way to do it and that when students have opportunities, um, even though the opportunities are there, some students might not choose to capitalize on, on them for reasons like this. Meanwhile, students hope the university will capitalize on providing more parking. Reporting in Chapel Hill, I'm Alexis Simmons.